what's up y'all it's a nice day out here today so i'm gonna show you guys how i get in and out the car whenever i get ready to drive so this is just the way that works best for me so anybody that's in the wheelchair and that's trying to get used to getting in and out of the car i'm gonna show you how i do it and how it works best for me I kind of pull up at an angle when I do it because if you don't, you gotta come all the way over the wheel, and that makes it a lot harder trying to get yourself all the way up over the wheel. So, kind of come in at an angle whenever you go to get in the car. I lock both wheels when I do it just so the chair doesn't roll out from under me. Some people do it without locking the wheels, but I like locking the wheels, and I push off the wheel too when I do it instead of pushing off the seat. So, if you don't lock them, then wheelchair is gonna slide all over the place, roll all over the place. Uh, so. Going to get in, I like to just ball my fist up. And I got a cushion in the seat, but I like doing it off the seat actually so it's more firm. And I just ball my fist up and you gotta kinda scoot your feet to the edge of the, the edge of the foot rest as well so they don't get all caught up in there. So whenever you do it just scoot to the edge of your seat, ball your fist up and like I said, I push off the wheel. Some people like pushing off the seat better, but I push off the wheel. And then when I do it, just push and then throw yourself over, just like transferring into the bed or anything else. It's just a little bit farther. You just gotta kind of get over the fear of falling in between the middle. But if you do, you're not gonna fall too far. So just, so just push off and don't be scared and just, just throw yourself over. Okay. Get there, see I'm good now. I mean, I just gotta throw both my legs over. I was about to leave then I would just break the chair down just take both wheels off and then bring the chair across from me and put it over into the chair I would just take the whole chair across my body sometimes I gotta lean the seat back just a little bit just so I got more space to bring the chair over and yeah that's how I get in and now I'm gonna show you guys how I get back out into the chair okay so whenever you're getting back into the chair you just gotta pull the chair back up exactly where it was when you got into the car so kind of at an angle and just put over it's just a complete opposite of getting out just the same same thing you did to get in pretty much just same steps put your feet back where they was and you gotta scoot to the edge of the seat I got kind of short legs so I gotta scoot out far and then it's kind of all about where your foot is too I like to put my feet like where they're gonna end up at so you get them on the chair right there to where whenever you slide over, they'll just kind of fall into place. My right one usually falls off and I just got to pick it back up, but it's pretty much the same thing, just complete opposite. But whenever I come out, that's when I put my hand on the chair to transfer. I put it balled up in a fist, just like I do coming in, and then throw myself over. So you gotta just, just, just scoot over slowly until your feet kind of fall in place, and then you just kind of give yourself like to the count of three then you just kind of throw yourself back over well oh, that's why i do anyways just to just you know don't be scared to do it just it's no different than transferring anywhere else it's just a little bit more space but once you're screwed up to the edge of the seat then you really don't have anything to worry about just one two three get your legs back on straighten yourself up and you're good to go all right, you guys, so that's how I get in and out the car. I know different people have different ways of doing it and stuff, but that's just what works best for me. So you just gotta kind of practice and see what works best for you and work with what you got. I would advise you, if you're someone that just got in a wheelchair and you're wanting to drive and stuff, I would advise you to get a car that's kind of low like this one, nothing too big like a truck or anything, unless you have a lift or any of that. But if you don't want to depend on using a lift or anything special to get in and out the car, I would, I would just tell you to get something that's about this height or whatever so you can just slide over something that's close to the same height as your bed and then it'll be easy once you get over the fear of falling down then you'll be able to do it so just keep practicing and you'll get it all right i appreciate you guys for watching feel free to ask questions if you have any and make sure to like comment and subscribe and we'll be back with another video soon